Okay, welcome uh, today. Today we're just going to do a sort of a cool experiment on what happens to moisture in a refrigeration system when we do an evacuation. So whenever we do a repair on a refrigeration system, we normally, you know, pressure test and then we evacuate and we're trying to get rid of non-condensables and moisture. Um, so in a sense, when we put a vac on a refrigeration system, we cause the moisture to boil off at a lower pressure. So at a lower pressure, we don't need as much heat to cause water to boil. So at sea level, you know, uh, one atmosphere, uh, one bar or 14.696 psi, which is sea level pressure, um, we need 100 degrees Celsius worth of temperature to, to get water to boil, to turn to vapor from a, from a liquid to a vapor. But when we go into refrigeration system, we can actually put a vacuum onto that and lower the pressure causing moisture to bubble off at room temperature. And so to prove that, we, I put together this little um, sort of a, uh, something you can look at to visually see what happens to moisture in the refrigeration system. So I'm gonna start up the vacuum pump right now and um, we're gonna put this little jar under some vacuum and just watch what happens to the, the liquid water in the jar at room temperature. So here we go. There it goes. So that water now is boiling at room temperature. I can touch it with my hand. It looks just like a pot of water um, that you'd put on a stove and we're about to put potatoes into. So there you go. It'll continue to do that as long as there's water in there. It'll turn to vapor and the vacuum pump will remove it. Just like that. And there you go, short and sweet. Um, that's what we do with refrigeration in order to get rid of moisture. And that's what's happening in the system. So, uh, something, we learn something new every day. Cheers for watching, thank you.